Um, let's see if we are live. Good, good, good. So we're live over there. And I'm just going to go quickly live on Instagram as well. And off we go today. All right, everybody. So very good morning. Welcome, Instagram. Welcome, YouTube. And everybody in our Facebook group over here. So this morning is our Thursday morning 8 a.m. call with our wonderful academy, which is full of amazing people from all over Ireland and all over the world who are studying this phenomenal um, information that I got from Bob Proctor in the last five years, uh, namely the Thinking into Results and Lead the Field programs. Um, this week we are studying a, a chapter called Praxis, which is our integration of our belief and our behavior. And all week I've really been emphasizing more the importance of the belief about your thoughts and your feelings, really getting clear on the belief. And today we're going to actually start talking about those action steps that everybody has to take that are entirely necessary for us to achieve our goals. So we're going to be talking, like mostly all of this call is going to be about acting in a certain way. Um, I, my, my wish for everybody who's watching on Instagram or YouTube or wherever, I don't know if you can see it over here, um, but just up there, you see that map up high? That's a map I was given by Ernestine who works with us. And as you'll see, uh, you can see it here for those of you on Instagram. See that map? It's a map of Ireland and the county of Cork is colored red and the rest of it's white. And uh, the definition of that is that the, uh, Ireland is made up of Cork or not Cork. So thanks Ernestine for that. Now I want everybody, the reason I'm showing you that picture is I want everybody who is a graduate of the academy or people who are even going through it at the moment or anybody who's attending our master class next week, I want you to wake up every day with that level of confidence like like Cork people have when they talk about Cork. Or <laughs> I want you to wake up with that level of confidence like my uh, six-year-old, she just entertained all of us there at the breakfast table a moment ago, telling us about her dream. And in her dream, um, there was aliens trying to take over our house, but she was telling them to kindly leave our property while giving them roundhouse kicks to the head. So that's the type of confidence I want everybody to, uh, to end up with from studying with us. So good morning, everybody, and welcome. I, of course, look, we're seeing up the rebels, up Cork by, of course, are you gonna you're gonna take over the whole chat now in a moment? No, no, no surprises there. Um, so everybody, look for those of you who are just looking in at what we do in the academy. This this session is is uh, our Thursday morning session. We do it from eight to nine every every single week. It's kind of like how we wrap up the week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're studying something very specific and we're wrapping it up now today. So I invited Instagram in and YouTube in because I wanted to announce uh, our masterclass, which is starting on Monday in our group, the Vibration and Attraction Masterclass. So basically, if you're on Instagram, you go to the link in my bio, and that'll bring you into the um, into the Facebook group. You just have to fill out some qualifying questions, and and off you go from there. Uh, same for you guys on YouTube. You'll find the link somewhere, um, wherever you're watching this platform. Um, for you guys who are in the academy, I want you to really tune in this morning because we, we you know, people like start with us because oh, you know, I love Law of Attraction, or I love Bob Proctor, or I love The Secret, or stuff like that. And we do attract a lot of people who are, you know, into thinking in a certain way and feeling into it and visualizing and stuff like that. I mean, it's probably a 50-50 split. We also have a lot of people who have just been taking massive heavy action for years and wondering why they're not getting the results. So there's a lovely blend of bringing the people who want to just sit and meditate and, and wish for it to happen, bring those into a more action-based type of a, of, of a life, and also slowing down those people who are just heading for burnout regularly to start thinking and feeling in a certain way as well. And once everybody gets to that center place and has a perfect blend for them, uh, there's some people I would never wish to lower down their activities because that's just the way they were made. They're just doers and fair play to them, but they need to get that doing energy and just hold it until they're clear on their thoughts. They're clear of what they want. They've got a clear picture of what life is going to be like for them when their goals are achieved. Then boom, off those, you let these people go, coil them up for even a few days more because they never rest. They're always just up, at it, off to bed. But the best, as Paul O'Connell said in, in, in his rugby days, is, you know, did you put the fear of God into it? It's like, did you put the fear of God into that sleep? Right, get up and go at it again. They never stop for a minute, you know? So I would never try and pour too much cold water on that hot burning person, for sure. Like they, that is a great trait to have, that get up and go. You know, they'll really, they'll really fall, fall into like anxiety and depression and stuff like that. It's it's going to be, it's a good way to be in, in a lot of ways, but then they're wondering why am I not getting the results? I'm doing all the right things. I'm, I see other fellas and they just sit around and they seem to get the results. So you got to help those people to shift more into the belief, into the faith, into the visualization, into the clarity, because a lot of people just don't have a goal written down. So I love doing that. I love bringing those busy bees, you know, um, uh, tortoise in the hair, right? Those those hairs who are like zipping everywhere. I love bringing them back down and getting to just, just get clear on your goal. 
And it's like, but I haven't time to write it down. It's like, just write it down, you know. They start to really get a lot of clarity and they just take off like a rocket. Um, but then those people who are just, you know, sitting and waiting for it to happen, we really need to move those guys into action. So that's what today is all about. Um, this doesn't define what we do in our academy. Just you're going to hear me talking today about a very, it sounds like motivational speaking. It sounds like a very bullish, you just got to get it done, you know. But that's really not our message, but it just happens to be the message we're going to be talking about today. It's part of it. And it's a very important part of it. Okay, so I'm actually going to be dipping into um, the book, The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Wattles, because there's two chapters back to back. One is called um, Acting in a Certain Way and the other is called Effective Action. And I'm going to try and get through both of these chapters. Uh, this book is well over 100 years old. Um, it is the book that Rhonda Byrne used to inspire her to record that movie, The Secret, which really, I think, kind of uh, brought a lot of what people talk about and the thinking sciences and all that into a more of a mainstream. Um, so there was a whole book series and there was a magic book on gratitude and there's an app, a gratitude app and all that stuff. So, you know, we, I think the main thing that we hear um, in our academy, one of the attraction factors is like, oh, because Declan's Irish, you know, um, or I'm living in Ireland or based in Ireland and our client base is, you know, predominantly here. And, and that doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter if they're not, but, I think what people like about what we do in the Academy uh, of Thinking into Results, the, 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 the way we do it is we take this stuff that seems to be in the hands of a few and makes it just be very, very, very easy to understand, very easy to follow and very easy to apply for parenting, for sales, for love relationships, for, um, you know, doubling tripling, quadrupling your business sales. It doesn't really matter what you want to do. Um, we help you to do it in the way that we teach with our philosophy. And we also have a really good um, a really good community feel to, to what we have as well because it's hard to do this stuff on your own. And it's nice to be looking left and right at you and seeing other people progressing at different stages um, because you start to go, well, if they can, I can. And we had a wonderful call Tuesday night. Uh, one lady, um, I, haven't, I haven't got to meet her yet, but I cannot wait to meet her and give her a big bear hug because she just... She's just like, I've just seen her grow so much in the last couple of months, but she started typing in the chat about this, this sense of finally I have my freedom. And it's like, she's so successful. She's got a great marriage, great kids. Uh, she is an inspiration to us all. But to see that in the chat, I said like, if nothing else good happens for the rest of the year, it was just like such a lovely thing to see a fellow Irish person typing in the chat. I finally know who my real self is. Like that's, that's just, you know, you try and explain to people like, how does it work? You just... The byproducts are are just evident, you know. Someone saying that it's not about look at my shiny new car, look at my double my income. These are great things, but when I know, um, I spoke to a wonderful gentleman yesterday. He's in construction, a lovely wife and kids, really nice guy. We were chatting yesterday, and he told me about noticing it. Like one thing, kind of didn't seem like it was going to go his way, and it's very a very clear part of his goal. But the way he responded to it, not reacted, responded. He was like you know what, Declan, I saw that this particular place might not be the location for it, and then I just shifted. I think, you know, he's a great guy, but I think maybe going back six or eight weeks, that might have been a bit devastating. It might have been like, why doesn't something not happen for me, you know? But the way he's thinking now is, okay, I have the ability to choose whether I'm going to make this a negative or a, or, or a negative situation or a positive situation. That's, that's what I love the most. When I see people like that lady posting on Tuesday night or have so much confidence, have so much clarity, have so much freedom, it's the thinking stuff that um, really I think that my aim, I suppose, with, with my company is not just to give people a, a shiny result, you know, but to let people be able to do what we teach them forever, for everything, you know, to be a, re a responsive type of an individual rather than a reactionary type of an individual. I mean, imagine what that would do for you in your relationships with your siblings, with your parents, uh, with difficult neighbours. Um, you know, ev when everybody else is around them is losing their mind and you're keeping yours like you you've often been that person and you've admired that very serene calm strong focused individual that always seems to just not get involved in drama they always seem to just take it nice and easy that's the result i want to see because i know when people are living like that they'll create whatever type of prosperity they want they'll create wonderful teams wonderful companies uh, that constantly grow constantly improve they'll be the, the type of person that their friends are like like, what are you doing? Tell me. And we see that a lot. Like, what's gotten into you? Um, same gentleman yesterday, actually, he said he was in an office and a, and a guy walked in. He goes, you know what? I'm, I'm just not doing well. And he's connected him with Megan in our, in our team now to have a chat with him because he can see that this guy needs what we're doing here. Just to try and figure, figure it out. Like, don't we all need to try and figure it out? Anyway, 
let's get on to it. So welcome aboard YouTube. Thanks for tuning in this morning. Welcome aboard Instagram. I've seen some comments going in. I, I'm not going to read them out now. I, I, I find that takes from the flow. We're going to get into it and I might read some at the end. Um, quick shwiggity old um, petrol. Right, now I'm ready to go. Acting in a certain way. Thought or thinking is the impelling force which causes the creative power to act. So this whole concept of the law of attraction, I'm into the law of attraction. Like, what is it talking about? It's talking about power. It's talking about energy. It's talking about that when you get right down with a microscope into most things, they're, they're vibrating masses of energy. So when you change, like I am a spiritual being living in a physical body, okay? My parents called me Declan. The surname is Odunahu. But I'm no more Declan Odunahu than this bottle of belly gown. I, I am a, you know, I am a, I'm a, a spiritual being, a, I'm a thinking substance, there's an activity going on and it's vibrating. You know, I go to I go to bed at night, I look this way, I wake up in the morning, I look this way. You know, I, I'm pretty much staying the same as this floating mass of energy throughout my life. But about five years ago, I decided that the results that I was living in, I wasn't happy with. And, and by the grace of God, I literally found Bob Proctor on YouTube, 2013 actually, um, eight years ago. So I started following Bob, you know, doing the whole shelf help, uh, personal development route where I didn't have any help. It was just trying to figure it out on my own with YouTube videos and audios and a lot of books. And then I finally started working with mentors and, and hiring someone to, to, you know, I was being my own coach effectively, which is never is going to work. So the hiring coaches in 2015, and that's where it all started to change. But what really started to change was this, this thinking stuff that is going through all of us all of the time. I learned how to go, you know, like the bouncers in, in Reardon's there in Cork, man, the rebels. You know, it's like, sorry, not tonight, no, let go here and have a coffee for yourself. Now, not that I ever, ever was told that by a bouncer. You know, I was a little angel, like, going, you know, they're like, of course you can come in. But, you know, sometimes they do that. They'd say, sorry, no, let's not tonight, there. One way and get a coffee and go back. That's what you got to be like with those thoughts. You're like, oh, this is going to go so bad. You don't know it's the future. You don't be thinking that way. So we just learn to stop the negative stuff. I don't want to be dealing with that. Thank you very much skedaddle it's a thursday it's the end of september i don't need your bs today get out of here and then you start changing it and say well if it did work out for me how could it go i mean if it was to work out how could it go because we've got this like reticular reticular activating system the ras and when you start thinking about what you want you'll see it you know we got um uh see jackie here or physio for women and kilkenny there hello welcome kilkenny like if, you, if you're there today now and if you just decided you're going to get some new equipment or some new flooring for your gym or, or, or whatever it might be you're going to like it's not only now mark zuckerberg's algorithms picking up on what we're saying and it'll start showing up in your devices but before this used to happen in our world we would see it it's like you want a cream colored volkswagen beetle everywhere you go cream colored volkswagen beetle you turn on the telly um someone's getting into one of them you know so this is this whole law of attraction stuff works all the time <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you believe it or not it's like gravity uh you, you can believe it or not but if you disobey gravity you're going to get hurt if you disobey the law of attraction the law of vibration you just won't get what you want you start obeying the laws and working with the laws and you get what you want so wallace wattles is starting here by just saying the thoughts are the impelling force which causes the creative power to act so this creative power, you know, we're coming, we're not coming up to Easter, Jesus. Uh, we're coming up to Halloween, that's it, another another chocolate time. But um, in, you know, we have in Easter, we have these chocolate bunnies. Now, out in Skellig Chocolates, near where I live, they, they, you can see the moles, and you can see how they make the eggs. They've got these moles. Well, we are using our mind, our conscious and our subconscious mind, to mold that energy that's constantly flowing to us into whatever we want it to be. Um, this is my goal here. A bit laminated and uh, we have an extremely hard working and loyal team that is committed to the realization of our goal we have a highly effective unit and we serve each and every client and every prospect with the greatest of respect every day people feel valued and they're so grateful to all of us we enroll over 33 clients every month as standard so i sleep on this this is in my under my pillow there's one on the wall here this is the one from my laptop bag there's one on the wall of my office and there's one like literally under my pillow. Because you know that like, people say, I'm going to sleep on it. Well, I sleep on my goal every night. Two days ago, um, Laura, who's the, the the whole rock of our company, typed a chat. Uh, yesterday, actually, she typed in the chat. Hey, everybody, a couple of days left to go in September. I just want to give you some numbers. And it was exactly the numbers that uh, I wrote down. Now, when I wrote that down months ago, that was not a reality. That was, that was not a reality. And now it is. So my thoughts 
I've molded something new. It was a, it was an empty little mold, so like a you know, and I poured the chocolate in or the substance, the thinking stuff, the the feeling stuff, you know. So I had no evidence with the conscious mind. Hear, see, smell, taste, and touch. I had no evidence that we could have a month where we would welcome this many clients to our academy. It doesn't matter. It's an empty mold, and the thinking stuff is flowing to me and through me all the time. It was flowing to me and through me. For I remember my frustrations kind of started in. 1995, 96, my teenage years, I really got very frustrated and very angry, I suppose. And it wasn't until 35 and I'd gone through, you know, traveling the world and having businesses and uh, getting engaged, getting married, having children. Um, it wasn't until about 35 that I actually just decided like, you know, I, I don't actually have to put up with this level of anger and frustration and, and self-doubt and, and self-criticism. That was the biggest one. And I started learning how to take all that creative energy that's constantly flowing to you right up until your last breath. Like if you're if you're in your late 90s, God willing, it's in your hundreds, and you're lying in bed and your little grandchild comes in with an idea, you can take that idea, you can you can hear what they're saying, and you can give them a suggestion using your creative power. Like you can just go, Well, that's a good idea. And you know what you could do, sweetheart? You could do this, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> and you keel over. But right up until your last breath, you've taken the thoughts, so it came from your little grandchild from their mouth into your ears. You got an idea, you use your creative visualization that we all have. You use it for breakfast this morning, you use it for the clothes you're gonna wear, you use it for the route you're taking to work. You're always using it and, and people is like, I'm skeptical now about the law of attraction myself. Be skeptical all you want because you're, you're just using it all the time. You're using thought energy all the time. You're constantly processing it. So thought is the impelling force which creates the creative power to act. Thinking in a certain way will bring success and riches to you, but you must not rely upon thought alone, paying no attention to your own personal action. This is the rock upon which many otherwise scientific metaphysical thinkers meet with shipwreck. The failure to connect with personal action is the problem. We have not yet reached the stage of our development in which a person can create directly from the formless substance. So this is the stuff of um, X-Men or one of those things, you know, like where you could, a human being can create something like a 3D printer. He says, we have not yet reached the stage of development. I, I think that's pretty cool that a hundred years ago, a guy was thinking that way that we will eventually get there. We have not yet reached the stage of development in which a person can create directly from the form of substance without nature's processes or the work of human hands. A person must act and think. By thoughts, you can, you can cause the gold in the hearts of the mountains to be impelled towards you but it will not mine itself it will not refine itself it will not coin itself and it will not come rolling down along the roads into your pocket i love that it's one of my favorite passages in personal development by thinking alone you can cause the goal that's in the hearts of the mountains to be impelled towards you now i've had several moments where it's almost like i i could pinch myself like it's exactly as i visualized it when i thought the chips were down some angel would appear in the form of the most random thing. Uh, I gave examples the other night. There was one lovely lady in our academy, Roshin is her name, and she was talking about, um, so there's another gentleman as well. He's actually the high king of Cork. I'll have you know his name is Michael, uh, one of the most positive people you'll ever meet in your life. And I asked, we, we put everyone into breakout rooms to have a discussion about their futures, you know, talking from the wish fulfilled, speaking to each other as if it was a year from now. It's a cool exercise. Um, I kind of sprung it on them. They didn't have too much time to think about it. Um, and I made them do it because if they're awkward talking about their goal, then how much do they truly believe that it's possible? Or are they just involved in the airy fairy law of attraction thinking? Are they really, really committed to making this happen? So I didn't give them too much notice, popped them into breakout rooms, and they all started chatting with one another about it. Now, Michael was really, um, he's noticed a big change in, in this lady, Roshin, and he was really interested in, in having us help her with one limiting belief where she was really believing in other aspects. And we, we got her live on the call and we started chatting with her. And I started to say to her, like, she really benefits from, there's a woman in our academy called Megan. She's just an inspiration to, to all of us. She's fantastic. And if Megan hadn't done what she did to start working with us, would this lady have this inspirational half an hour that she really loves every week? And I said to her, and I used her as an example to everybody on the screen on Tuesday night. You see, you don't know how many people are conspiring on an hourly, minute by minute, hourly, daily basis to make your goal a reality. Like the minute you decide you want to create a pizzeria, there's people out there who've been making pizza ovens for the last few, couple of years 
just for your business. There's uh, graphic designers who will put the signage and the logos and the brands on all of your flyers and menus. They went to graphic design school just for you and your goal. You, you, people are just like wandering around as like, why can't I get any results? You're just gonna get more of the same. You've got to understand that your thoughts alone can 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 start the, this vibration to happen, but you you know it's not going to happen by itself. You got to go out, talk to the graphic designers, talk to the pizzeria guys, rent the premises, get the insurance, get the uniforms, get the pizza cutters, get the cheese, the bread, the dough, the yeast, and off you go. But you've got to take the action. But don't like the reason um, sixty percent of businesses kind of don't make it past the first year, and ninety percent of them don't make it past um, three years, which is a, a really shitty but true st statistic. I'm sorry to say, is people go. Conscious mind, I hear, see, smell, taste, and touch. You know, coffee vans at the side of the road, that's a good idea. I'm going to do that too. Um, or fidget spinners, yeah, I'm going to get an Etsy store and sell fidget spinners. <gasps> ice shoes, there was a, a, a shop in Chop Street in Galway selling those ice clamps the winter after we had the big freeze. We've never had a big freeze since, but it was a pop-up shop selling ice clamps for your shoes. Not like that was a conscious thinking, I'm going to do that, there's money in that. Um, I see a lot of people getting into the industry I'm in. Uh, I want to be a coach. I love, I love helping people. But when I say, well, tell me more about it, they're, they're really, they, they can't describe what they want. And I think they, they look at it as a lifestyle and say, yeah, I want to do that. But you've got to think first, feel into it, and then take the action. And that's what Wallace Wattle is saying here. By thinking, yes, you can cause the gold and the hearts of the mountains to be compelled towards you. Yes, when you're thinking about what you want, you are going to attract ads, um, conversations with friends, overheard conversations in the queue for Centra, like you are going to attract the answers very, very quickly, but you got to step out and take the action. And that's what a lot of people do. 97, maybe 98% of people don't because they see the opportunity. They know that it's totally in line with what their dream is, but they don't reach out and grab it because it's a, like a self-image problem. They, they say, well, they'll be like, Declan, could that have been a moment that I should have taken action on? I said, yeah. So you learn and you, and you go on from there. But look at this. The gold won't mine itself, refine itself, or coin itself and roll into your pockets. Under the impelling force of the supreme power, people's affairs will so be ordered that someone will be led to mine the gold for you. This is true. Another person's business transactions will be directed so that that gold will be brought towards you. But you must arrange your own business affairs so that you are able to receive it when it comes to you. Um, we've got a, a beautiful group of uh, success advisors that help people throughout the masterclass. And about a month and a half ago, I said, are you prepared for after the masterclass when people become clients that you are able to serve them and take care of them, uh, you know, for 90 minute time slot every week? And I don't think everybody had a time slot planned out. So were they prepared to, 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 to take care of the business? Um, we have inventory in our business. We have calendar plans. I've got time slots booked off for coaching calls. Uh, my wife and children know Daddy's Diary because, you know, I'm ready to serve the people. If I wasn't, I wouldn't have the clients now. So under the impelling force of the supreme power, everybody's affairs will be ordered so stuff will come your way. But you must arrange your own affairs so that you're ready to receive it when it comes to you. Your thoughts make all things animate and inanimate work to bring you what you want. However, your own personal activity must be such that you can rightly receive what you want when it reaches you. Um, you are not to take as charity or to steal it. You must give every person more in use value than they give you in cash value. The scientific use of thought consists in forming a very clear and a very distinct mental image of what you want. So that's what we start off with in the academy. The first week, could be two weeks, is getting clear on your goal a goal that you want. It's based on personal wants, it's based on professional wants, but my wants are not Nullig's wants and Nullig's wants are not Alan's wants and um, Sarah Jane's wants are not belong to Yelena. All of our wants are ours and very specific to ours. Um, I talked to Katrina yesterday, I talked to um, Sinead, I talked to lots of different people. You all have different backgrounds, you all have different vulnerabilities, you all have different strengths. Um, but now that you're working on your wants, there's a common denominator to all of you. It's focus, it's concentration, it's discipline, it's accountability. There's a joy, a, a joy once we get you past module one and you, you're clear on your goal. There's a real joy that starts to spring forward from all of you. And I, I know that's what you feel when we get together or when we're on that Tuesday night call. There's this common denominator of a very positive buzz about everyone. Because that's that's because, you know, you'll hear the saying, the truth shall set you free. When you're finally going after your wants, not... What I think my mom and dad wanted me to be or what I should be because, you know, I, I'm a man in my 40s now. So this is how, what I should comply to. 
Like when you are, like I'm a mom now and I have three teenagers, I, I shouldn't be X, Y, Z. When you start doing your wants again, it, it, it feels very childlike, feels very exciting. Um, myself and Laura went off uh, to a, 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 a wonderful resort a couple weeks ago just to, well, first of all, we deserve it. We, we, we started working together nearly three years ago now and the company wasn't where it is right now. So we deserved, it's been two years really with lockdown, we haven't been able to do it. And we, we went away with a nice, nice time. And everybody in, the, in this resort, they're a little bit fuddy dirty. You know, they're a little bit up their own backsides, you know. Um, they wore their brands and they wore their cars and all that stuff. And we were just having the crack, you know. And next thing, all the staff started sitting with us and having a drink with us, watching soccer with us. And we were just having the laugh because, you know, um, there's, this, there's this joy that starts to come out of you and you really start being your real self, you know. So he says here, um, the scientific use of thought consists in forming a clear and distinct, a distinct mental picture. So that's what you have with module one. You have your own goal. OK, um, now do not try to project your thoughts in any mysterious ways with the idea of having it going out and doing things for you. It's wasted effort and it will weaken your power. In the preceding chapters, I have explained the actions of thought in getting in getting rich and getting your results. You must use your faith and your purpose to positively impress your vision upon the formless substance. So what I like to look at it this way, I, I again, one of the reasons why people, uh, I think, do very well with us and, and, and are attracted to work with us is how, you know, we simplify this pretty pretty well. So I don't like animal cruelty, but it's just an, an example that I give. Imagine when you get those big, you know, those cattle prods that they, they, they use to push like a branding thing. Again, I'm sorry, it's not a nice uh, vision, but that's what I like to think that the way me and my team and me and the clients the way we project our images to the universe is, is like that. It's very clear and very distinct. So we heat that iron up in the fire and then we go right into the universe. It's clear. See, there's 7 billion people in this world and a lot of them are, you know, they're, let's, let's take, for example, um, you know, this five foot nine, stunning, beautiful woman in a beautiful business suit getting on a subway, getting on a train in London, heading off to work, right? So... Everyone could look at her and say, I wonder what she does now. Very high powered job. Look at that briefcase. That's a that's a two thousand pound briefcase, right? She could be putting off this image of, you know, I'm the lady here, like, you know, walks onto that train like flipping Beyonce walking onto stage. Every, you know, there's a beautiful smell and everyone's looking at her like, wow, she's wow, I'd love her life. She could be like on her phone, looking like, you know, I'm a, I'm an absolute amazing person. She could be like texting somebody about a marital breakdown. She could be worried about a sick child. She could be feeling like I'm never going to get there. I'm never going to be good enough for my mom and dad and all these chaos going on inside. If I'm the universe and I'm trying to pick up uh, on messages from people, it's, you know, everyone's like, I'm into law of attraction. But so many people are sending out so many mixed signals and, and, and they're not really clear on what they want. So we get very clear on what they want. Um, I got a, 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 an email yesterday from a lady. She's been working with us quite a while. And I read her goal this morning and it is absolutely beautifully written and I love it. And I remember reading it about six weeks ago, but after getting to know her more and seeing her having some ups and downs, I'm aware now that that is lovely, but I think she doesn't believe it. So we're going to work together now over the next couple of weeks to really, to really rejig the goal. Because if I, if she didn't sell it to me in that email, then the universe or God is not really able to pick up on it clearly either. So I'm going to help her to really put her heart onto that page because I think they're beautiful words, they're beautifully written, but I, I'm not feeling it. And that's I, I think that's why she's having some ups and downs in the last few weeks. So why I'm saying that is, Wallace Wattle says here, um, in the preceding chapters, I've explained the actions of thought in getting rich. You must use your faith and purpose to positively, and I, I would use an extra word here, Mr. Uh, Wattles, you are welcome, to positively and clearly impress your vision upon the form of substance. You've got to be clear, very clear, not mixed. You know, I remember sitting sitting beside a colleague my first time meeting Bob, and she laughs at it now. Um, her name's Karen, and uh, she was like, is that really your doll? She's from the Gal cast, and she's like, is that really your doll? And I was like, um, yeah, yeah, I think so. Why, is it okay? Is it, if it was my goal, like nowadays, I'm like, yeah, that's my goal. You got a problem with it? Like, I believe in my goal, and I want my goal. But it was, I was, you know, I was a bit of a beginner, I done well as a, you know done well with 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 a year, but I, I I was still very raw. Like I wasn't really confident in in what I teach. So the minute she, cr she questioned my goal, I was like, yeah, why is it okay? Is it, what's wrong with the goal? Is is it all right? Now it's like, yeah, that's my goal. Oh yeah, that's my goal. It's like 
that is that is part of my life, you know. So you don't just positively impress it with, I'm so happy and grateful that I've got a beautiful car and a handsome husband and he loves me. You gotta be like it's gotta be like, I want this, I want this, and and be clear on it and be patient. Okay. So this vision is received from you. It sets all of the creative forces in the world at work. And it directly comes to you through all the regular channels of action that are directed towards you. It is not your part to guide or supervise the creative process. All you got to do is to retain your vision, stick with your purpose and maintain your faith and your gratitude. And that is important. That's the seventh chapter of this book, Gratitude. If ever I'm in doubt, if ever I'm having a bit of a pity party and I can get that to, you know, oh, right grumpy are sometimes, you know, it's like, oh, <sighs> Oh, you know, I got this beautiful academy and I got this great team, but nothing's working. You know, it takes maybe three minutes or five, but I snap out of it pretty quickly. And the way I snap out of it is gratitude. Close my eyes, put my palms facing up to the heavens, and I just go, I'm so grateful for my health. I'm grateful that my children have their four grandparents with us. I am so grateful that my wife loves me and I love her. I'm so grateful that I have fresh food in the fridge. You know, the minute you get into gratitude, it's like you're reconnecting back into everything again. It's very fast. Very easy to do. You can do it anywhere at any time. So Wallace Wattle says, you've got to do, uh, all you have to do is retain your vision, stick to your purpose and maintain faith, maintain gratitude. Um, but you must also act in a certain way so that uh, the things that come to you, um, so that you can appropriate what is yours when it comes to you. There is an infinite source of supply, okay? When, when the allies were storming the beaches of Normandy or when Copernicus was finding out whatever he found out. Was that about the world being rounder? Yeah, wasn't that the one? Um, I bit off more than I can chew by saying Copernicus, okay? When Isaac Newton was discovering the telephone. I am kidding, I'm joking. When all these things were happening throughout history, we had iPhones, we had Tesla cars, we had wireless technology, we had Gucci handbags, we had uh, microwave ovens, everything hundreds of years ago was already here, but the human race had not developed itself and used its thought energy in a certain way to organize everything. You know, there was always Ikea. There was always um, the Ryder Cup. You know, like all the potential for all of the systems and the, the items and the things that are there, they were always here, but we, we hadn't developed our way of using it. And that's the human race on a global scale. But what about you, yourself, in your own little world, in your own little universe? There's things that you've done and you've shocked yourself that you've done it. Um, I, I have, you know, we've, a, a, I think it's predominantly um, female um, clientele in the academy. It's probably, I would say, maybe 70, 30. And some of these people, some of these wonderful women have conceived a child, developed the child over nine months, brought it into the world, took it through school, kindergarten, primary school, secondary school, and they take themselves for granted. They, they, they underestimate what they're, I'm like, that's fucking incredible. Like, you know, I, I was a stay at home dad for a year. And uh, after that, I was working in my acupuncture clinic. And I'd say, What's your occupation? Oh, I just work at home. I'm like, Excuse me now for one second. That's the toughest job in the world. Don't you ever, <laughs> don't you ever again say, I just work at home. I'm just a home. I'm just a house. Don't you ever again say that? Because <laughs> it's tough, man. It's tough. But that's phenomenal. And then they're underestimating a business or underestimating writing a book or they underestimate things. I think that's a miracle stuff, you know, but anyway, let's carry on. He goes, um, um, you must act in a certain way so that you can appropriate what is yours when it comes to you. The human race has acted in a certain way to appropriate the internet, to appropriate uh, all different things to us, you know, um, and you in your own little life, in your own world, you've got to act in a certain way so that you can scoop out from the atmosphere all the stuff that you need to, to, to make your life the way you want it to be. You can readily see the truth of this when things reach you. They will be in the hands of other people who will ask an equivalent for them. That's, that's okay too. Um, you can only get what is yours by giving the other person what is theirs. Your pocketbook will not become bottomless. It will not always be full of money without effort on your part. Receiving is a crucial point in the sciences behind how we get rich and successful. Right here, where thought and personal action must be combined. So everyone in the academy, think about that. That's what lesson eight is all about, praxis. Thought energy and, and your actions combined as one. We've been working for the first two or three weeks there. If you're just after beginning with us, remember lesson one was all about getting clear in your goal. Lesson two was closing those knowing and doing gaps. 
And lesson three was really about creating a brand new standard where you're kind of physically burning away stuff that's not serving you anymore and rewriting your story. So those first three weeks is, is very much the thinking stuff. And I spoke to a fantastic woman this morning just through voice notes um, because like she's a lady you'd, you'd love in your in your team, regardless of what industry you're in. She's just uh, she's going to get it done. But right now she's created a beautiful image and she's used to knowing then the next step. And I, now I need to know what the career is. I need to know where I need to be. And it's it's a part. Remember I talked at the beginning about the doers. Um, she's a great doer. Uh, and also a great dreamer, but now I'm asking her to stay in the dream a little bit longer and do more of the thinking stuff and her, and her present paradigm, you know, over that's been developed since she was about seven is like, yeah, but come on, but, but, but we need to do it now, but we need to act, we need to do it, right? We need to do it. So there's thinking in a certain way and there's acting in a certain way. It is not the time yet for this lady to go out and appropriate everything that she needs. She needs to let a large portion of it come to her and then act on it, okay? Um, so every, you know, the, if you think about it, the last six letters in law of attraction are action, but we've got to be acting in a certain way. We can't be like the flies buzzing at the window, you know, continually expecting to get through it, even though every second that's preceded this moment, they've never gotten through it. And they'll they'll die on the windowsill, most of them, because they, they don't look around for an alternative way. Can I fly out the door? They'd be buzzing at my office window here and they'd never think of flying out the door into the utility room and out the back door. So I have to get up and let them out of the office okay so we can't be like that it's one thing if there's flies or bumblebees being like that blue bottles we cannot be like that anymore and if that's you stop it slow down what was it in the in the caramel ad slow down they're a sport <laughs> the, the 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 caramel bunny sex or the, the whatever it was slow down they're a sport you've got to slow down you got to get really clear think about what you want think about how you want it to be and you're going to start getting new intuitions for a new set of actions that are just gonna really make that, that change happen faster. Uh, my old seminars that I used to do, um, one moment please, before heading uh, back into that lockdown stuff we did, my last set of seminars around the country were called Slow Down to Speed Up. And it was about that, it was about slowing down, getting clear in your wants, getting clear in your vision, and spending some time back at the thinking phase back in the war room, get back in and plan more and think more, which was totally, totally foreign to me. You know, my wife would tell you, we've been all over the world in, in, in different, um, oh, sorry, no, we've been all over the world. In, and uh, the first thing that I would do when we get to the beach is I just get out and I run. <laughs> is I don't, I don't stop and think. Um, if I do Christmas shopping, we'd arrive in the middle of Cork City when we were in college together, we'd arrive somewhere and June would be like, Okay, so now let's plan. We're going to go here. I'm going to go there. We'll have lunch at one. She's like, where's he gone? I'm already like halfway down the shops, like getting what I need, getting it done. So I used to be all action, action, action. Now it's thinking, feeling, and then action. And that's how we make the law of attraction work for us. Okay. So by thought, the thing you want is brought to you by action. You receive it. Okay. Write that down. By thought, by thinking, the thing you want is brought to you. By action, you receive it. You've got to be ready to receive it, and by your action, you will receive it. Um, whatever your action is to be, it is evident that you must act now. It becomes evident you must act now. And we go through lesson seven, as we did last week, guys, in the academy. The terror barrier. When it gets, when it shows itself, oh, sugar. Oh, my God, I think this is the opportunity. Oh, I'm scared. Right? It will present itself. The opportunity will present itself, and you'll know it. Deep inside, you'll know this is this is your moment, and you got to go do it with it. Amazing lady, uh, Michelle, uh, we're talking to her over in Italy the other day and uh, I'm excited for her actually. I spoke to her a few weeks ago and she's just gonna absolutely get all of her results. But it's like just trying to figure out which of them at which time it's, it's going to happen, I've no doubt about it. And I can just see the moment where she's gonna be like, oh God, this is it, I have to act. And I love when it happens, it, it happens quite regularly where it's like, hey Declan, can I talk to you very quickly and get on a call or whatever. So this is after happening, this premises came up or this new house came up. Uh, I saw an image of a, a wonderful graduate of the academy there, Rachel. I saw her with a brand new SUV this week. And I know she's going to be parking that outside her brand new house uh, up in the Midlands. And that just, when I see that image on Instagram or Facebook, wherever I saw it, I, I just like, it's the, the whole heebie-jeebies, the whole hair stands up in the back of your neck. Because I know how she did it. She changed her thinking. She changed her feelings. She did her actions in a certain way. And she became ready to receive it. But when the moment took itself. Uh, I remember she was on a call one night with us and this house came up and I was like, I want you to drive to that house. I want you to drive from that house to work and then drive back. 
and then go to the house you're in right now. I've done that several times. We've a wonderful couple. Uh, hopefully you're tuning in, guys. They're over in, in, in Topsham in England, uh, Kevin and Liz. Um, oh, I've taken their soaps, but they, they, they have a company called Coraline and Us. It's a skincare company. And this room smells amazing because I've had like 16 bars of soap or something here for the last uh, few days. It arrived in the post and I left it here in the office. It's gorgeous stuff. They make it all with essential oils. But this couple um, wanted to move from the house they were in in London to a different house. And I asked the mom, I goes, look, put your little daughter in the buggy and go to the other house when you're going to the shops, go to the other house first and then mentally prepare that you're starting from, this is your gate, walk to the shops, you know, fill up your bag and fill up the back of the buggy or whatever with your shopping, then walk back to the gate of the new house and then conclude your journey and then go home to your, your house you're in right now. They ended up living in that house and it all happened so fast and they actually ended up having a, a very dear family uh, member come to spend time with them. So they were compelled to get there because there was something else going to be happening shortly and it all worked out just perfectly. Um, we had a couple living in Tenerife and they wanted to move to Spain, uh, pardon me, to move to France. And they were worried about, um, she was a teacher, the daughters wanted to get into their school. I think the daughters were learning maybe English and Spanish. There's going to be a French school. So the mom was like, I'd love to work in the school, but it's hard to get jobs. It's a rural place. And he was like, well, I don't know what I'm going to be doing back there, but my priority is that we can get the girls to school in the morning and then I can work in a place just down the road. Within a couple of months, they would afford them to get into the car. He would drive to the school, park the car there. Girls would get out, go into the classroom. The mom would go out and teach in the classroom because she got the job, of course. And then he would walk down the road to work in a factory. Everything worked like you just couldn't put it together more perfect. But they started thinking about it when they were in Tenerife. They started visualizing it. And then when they got to France, they started taking the appropriate actions. And it all fell beautifully into place for them. There's... There are so many stories like that. Um, we have a, 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 real, um, a real gem in our academy, a wonderful lady living up in Dublin. And she's written a book about um, her life with her, her two boys. And um, a major retailer has picked up in the book. Um, but it all, happened, it all happened over a long period of time. You see, when she wrote this book, she had, I think, about five or six chapters written. And there was a few weeks into the academy, I was on a call with herself and a, and a group of women called the Cherry Blossoms. That's what they call themselves. And we were chatting about it. And I was like, can you tell me something? And she goes, yeah. I says, what do you love to do? She goes, I love writing books. And I said, okay, and tell me more about that. She goes, well, I have a book now and it's this much written and it's that much written. And within a short space of time, it was completed. And then she was like, I have a feeling. So the goal was in the hills, but her feelings started to kind of get it moving. I have a feeling that maybe this particular retailer would be interested in it because my son works with the retailer. And I was like, all right, that's interesting. So I said, why don't you ring them? And I was actually planting carrots in my garden. I was like, why don't you ring them? And she's like, oh, I don't know. And she rang them and they were just picked up like, yeah, we'll send it through and we'll have a thought. And they offered her a deal. So the person that answered the phone, that was conspiring to help her. When I was on the call with her, like I left my acupuncture career to help this woman to, to get her book out there. You know, um, Facebook happened so that a girl called Kira, who is a principal of a school and has a beautiful music, Facebook happened so she could find me and our academy so we could help her to achieve her goals. Or is there some new musical genius out there who was destined to be great and this woman's music school had to happen so she could learn the basics there and then learn the advanced and then learn the super advanced and become this famous orchestra person. You see, when we are sitting in our own and we are thinking, how is it going to happen? How is it going to happen? We're cutting off all of the creative flow. OK, you are the designer. You are not the creator. Your, your role is to get very clear on what you want, stay flipping disciplined and concentrate on it and that's it and just let it go just say i'm so happy and grateful now that i'm living this way earning this way whatever and just do it and go about your day and be positive and be confident and just get about your life go about your business and let the signs come to you but when they come to you you got to take action so a sign came to the girl with the music school she had to take action a sign came to that woman with the book she had to take action uh signs happen we had another artist um, living up in, in galway area and um, she was living in this castle grounds and she really wanted, you know, I want to turn it into an, a studio and I want to do some stuff here and I want to do some stuff there. 
And she had to keep taking these actions. And when she started taking these actions, it all started to happen. And all like all these um, portraits came through, commissions came through. Now the, the building is there, the classes are there, there's collaborations there. It all starts to happen, but you got to think and feel in a certain way and then take the appropriate actions when they when they come. Okay, so um, let me just, oh, the sound is gone. Yeah, well, I think somebody rang me and the sound is back. Sorry, guys, someone rang me and it was, um, but you just missed the best part. Sorry, Instagram, I'm, I'm only kidding. Um, yeah, something happened over there. I don't know what it was. All right, so let's, um, let's do a quick scroll back and see if there's some comments here. Oh, there's a lot of up the rivers ones. We'll skip past those. Uh, I'm heading into the office today after telling my teammates that I've handed in my notice. I'm so happy now I can start handing over responsibilities and freeing up my mind to focus on my goal. I mightn't have the most productive work day though. Yeah, it's a few tears I suppose today. Uh, congratulations. I don't know who that is. I'm thinking it's Joanne. Is it Joanne? Uh, it just came up as Facebook user. Oh, loads of chats over here in um, Zoom. Good morning, everybody. Great attendance on Zoom today. Well done. Katniss here, good morning. Roshan's here, good morning. Denise, I love idea. Cork and the rest. Yeah, Denise, look, we have to forget about that now. They're, they're getting too much uh, airtime here. <laughs> uh, Amanda, good morning. Amanda, I was talking about you earlier on. Sarah Jane, hello. She goes, good morning. I'm loving lesson eight. It's my favorite so far. I really noticed the change this week in myself. It's like everything is falling into place with thinking into results. Everything that I manifested this week has been happening for me. Whoop, whoop. Well done, Sarah Jane. That's really, really cool. You have a great attitude. Um, Sarah Jane, today I want you to really get, I mean, get deep into gratitude. Now, if you're seeing the, the, the stuff happening, it's like, um, it's like there was a, when you started with us, maybe there was a very thin string of gratitude, like an umbilical cord kind of holding you to the universe, right? So the more that you've been getting clear on what you want, that turned into like a, a pipe, like a straw. Now it's gotten into like a water pipe coming into the house. Now it's a, a really big one. So there's a real big flow that's going to continue to keep happening and coming towards you, Sarah Jane. If I imagine it this way, let's say there's you and me, Sarah Jane, there's a kid's party and you'd say, okay, who wants chocolates? And someone comes up and goes, thank you very much. And they take a sweet and then somebody goes, thank you very much. And then somebody else just comes up and grabs five of them and runs off. You're like, oh, cheeky little, you know, um, let's not be that cheeky little pecker. Let's go. Um, I'm so happy and grateful for, so you know the things that have happened for you this week. Say it. Thank you. But when you say it, then like really close your eyes and like, Take it in like you would if you were in a yoga class or a meditation class, like feel it go into your body and just go, you know, like relax your stomach muscles and go like, thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, it, you get very emotional when you do it. I mean, really, you can get very emotional when you're being thankful for um, the blessings that you're being given because it, it, it feels connected. It feels really real. And we are very disconnected from like our spirituality, from our our. You know, I mean, from how we're being taken care of, you know, that life force that's we're really disconnected from it. We are, we have been for a long time, but with smartphones now and how busy we are with all the different things, we, we're quite distracted. So when you receive something good and you close your eyes and you go inside and you get very, very deep in your gratitude, um, it's just going to keep happening. So thank you for telling us, Sarah Jane, and I'm really happy for you. Great way to start the weekend. Kathleen Kerrigan, how is it going? She goes, good morning. I hope everyone's well. I love this session. Second time around, I'm so grateful for my swimming lessons and my music lessons. Well done. Yeah, you're off to a flyer. Excuse the pun, because I know you flew an airplane as well at the start of your journey with us. Denise, uh, I used this book last night in my group. I love it. It's so simple. Yeah, uh, Wallace Wattles was a bit of a genius. Uh, Ruth, good morning. I started reading As a Man Think It. It mentions that if there's a stone in your shoe and you take it out and get rid of it, that we must do the same with our thoughts. If there's a bad idea, just toss it out. This was a real aha moment for me. Um, aha moment as in like you were singing Take On Me all the time. Take me on. Sorry, really bad dad joke. I'm in my 40s now. It's just going to get worse from here. This was an aha moment. Every time I see that, I think of Mark and Harkett and the, you know, the song now is an earworm. I know you're going to be singing it, Ruth. I know you're going to be singing it. So uh, everyone knows it's only County Donegal and the rest of Ireland. Oh, Oh, that's throwing a, a, a grenade in there. Donegal, County Donegal and the, and the rest of the, the rest of Ireland. Uh, John says, good morning, TIR gang. Have a tremendous Thursday, you too. Noel, um, and if it's there, I will repair to the Cora of and it, and, and it's there, and I, it's there I will repair to the Cora of Kildare. Okay, there's a, a county battle going on here. Uh, yeah, so Declan, are you doing the 6 a.m. club tomorrow morning? I certainly am. I'll be there with bells on. No bells might be worn. Um, but I will be there. Sarah Jane, 
um, says, I love that Ruth. It's going to be my thought for the day. Thank you. Yeah, take the take the, the little rocks out of our shoes. Claire, um, uh, yes, the crown check was at the resort. Yes, I hear you. Uh, the road works. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm just going to skedaddle through that. Yeah, so um, a great lesson today. Thank you, Declan. Uh, Linda, what's the name of the book I'm reading? It's um, as, oh no, Science of Getting Rich. Wallace Wattles, Science of Getting Rich, Wallace Wattles. I love today's lesson. It set me up for a very productive day of taking guided action. That's really good, uh, guided action like that. So everybody, we talked all week about how important it is to really have faith and believe in your goal, but there are action steps that you need to take. So um, there, you know, you can, we always talk about that balance. Sometimes you're working, working into results. Sometimes you're thinking into results. We gotta get them blended together. So for everybody who's in the academy, thank you for an amazing week. To my team, thank you for an amazing month. Tomorrow, we're going to be moving into October, I think, isn't it tomorrow? I should know how many days are in September. Um, that's my birthday month and all that. But thank you, everybody in our team. for It's our most successful month we've ever had. And we, we have been really proud to say that in March and July. So March was the best. Then July smacked its booty and then uh, put it into second place. And now September has turned um, July into second place. So thanks to everyone in my team. Uh, thanks to everybody in the academy because you guys um, are really showing up for us publicly and sharing what we do and attracting a lot of people to us. So uh, I take that as a compliment. Uh, I believe we're we're doing a good job for you guys. Uh, and if if we're not, please tell us because we we we're, we're really endeavour to do it very very well. Um, the conversations that go on in the team meetings. You know the way they say. <clears throat> I heard you were talking behind my back. We talk very well behind our back of all of you, just trying to see where can we help you to get to the next level all the time. So thanks a million um, for all you've done for us, all of the clients, for everything you've done to help us in our team and in our company. Uh, we're really grateful for it. And I wish you well. I will see you tomorrow morning at the 6 a.m. club. And then we're back next Monday with probably my favorite lesson. Lesson five is pretty amazing, but lesson nine, attitude. Oh my good God, we're in for it. Uh, and of course, we have our masterclass as well for everybody who's over on Insta and everybody who's watching on YouTube. Find um, Vibration and Attraction Masterclass. Type it into Facebook. Um, the Vibration and Attraction Masterclass with uh, yours truly, Declan O'Donoghue. Um, I look a little bit different in the profile picture because I, I shaved my head recently. Um, but that's me. So type in there and join our masterclass next week. Uh, bring some people along with you. Um, it really is something we're incredibly proud of. Um, the energy from Monday to Friday next week is going to be something like you, it's just going to be off the charts. Uh, I can say that because I'm literally a participant in it as well. I, I present it, but the the characters, the actors that come into our masterclasses are, are extraordinary. The stories and the, the, the comments and all the different things. And we've got five, uh, four amazing guest speakers next week, um, all um, incredibly powerful self-made people who did this um who've you know made their new lives through what we teach um two of them are graduates of the academy and two of them are colleagues of mine and it's just that they're extraordinary stories um of turning thoughts into things so make sure you're in that masterclass next week um and thank you i look forward to reading back all the comments now um i don't really read them out when i'm when i'm teaching or whatever but i look forward to reading them back so everybody on instagram thanks for being here and everybody over on YouTube, thanks for joining us. Everybody in the Academy, uh, thanks for allowing me to welcome the, the general public into this morning's lesson, just to show them a little bit behind the scenes of what we do. Um, take care, everybody. I'll see you next Monday for Attitude Lesson. Exciting stuff. Up the kingdom. Come on, Kerry. Come on, the green. <laughs>